Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Brett James back again with another video. Now, when I made this list, it's going to be based on players that I think can actually make the playoffs, win some games, and it's not based on just straight talent. I want to make that clear. Some of these guys are lower on the list when they're talented than others. Some of the guys are higher on the list because I think that they're actually going to make the playoffs and actually going to do damage in the playoffs. So, let's just stop wasting time and let's just hop right into the video. Coming in at number five, I got Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Now, I'm not putting Klay Thompson because he tours ACL and we never know how a player's gonna come back after an ACL injury. I get it, a lot of players do come back from that injury, but until it happens, I can't say anything about Klay Thompson. Yes, he's one of the best shooters of all time. The reason the Warriors have been so dominant for the last six years is because of Steph Curry and Draymond Green, okay? I am not discrediting Klay Thompson whatsoever and the Splash Brothers. I know how great they are, but Draymond Green has been the most underrated player on this team in this dynasty because he's Steph Curry's wing. He's, he, he's his partner, honestly. Steph Curry, in all honesty, wouldn't be as effective as he is without Draymond Green. Steph Curry is still an MVP caliber player even without him. I'm just saying in the pick and roll game, that's why Draymond Green's able to set screens, drop back, hit the three, roll to the basket, make a layup, kick out to the perimeter. That's why Steve Kerr's system has been so great with Draymond and Steph on the floor at the same time. And we all know just how ferocious he is on the defensive. I expect the Warriors to still make the playoffs this year, even with Klay Thompson maybe only coming back two, three months with the season left, maybe after the All-Star break. But Steph Curry is going to go absolutely tear it up this year. Now that he doesn't have Klay Thompson taking as many shots, no Kevin Durant taking as many shots, Steph Curry's going to kill it this year. And we just all know how great Steph and Draymond is. There's nothing else that needs to be said about that. Two ring. All right, coming in at number four, I got Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Now, the only reason I'm knocking them down on this list, which four is still pretty good, is just because I don't know about Ben Simmons' jump shot for the future, and I don't know about Joel Embiid's health for the rest of his career. We all know Joel Embiid's probably the best center in the NBA when healthy. He's top two minimum. Okay, Ben Simmons is one of the best stars in this league. He's probably one of the best players in the league if he had a jump shot. But until he proves to us that he does, he I can't say that he is. Joel Embiid, until he can play 70 plus games in a season, I can't say that Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are a top three duo in this league. We saw them get it done in the playoffs. They literally lost in the last seconds of the semifinals to Kawhi Leonard on one of the most ridiculous shots this world has ever seen in NBA history. We know how dominant Joel Embiid is inside the paint. Even out on the three-point line, only about a 30% shooter. But Joel Embiid can knock it down better than Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons is still one of the best drive to the hole, six foot ten point guards in the league because of them at all. And that's what makes Ben Simmons so special. I think that they are going to be a lethal duo for the rest of their career if they continue to stay and play together. They just their games just need to keep evolving. We all see the talent, we all see the potential. It's really just when is it gonna all come together and the Sixers are gonna be this dominant powerhouse and juggernaut that we know that they can be. So I'm gonna put them at number four on this list. All right, coming in at number three, I got Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton. Now, I know you can argue Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid over these two because Chris Middleton is barely an all-star and he's barely a star player in this league. Yes, he is an all-star. He made the all-star team last year, but they are a 60-win team. They had the most wins in the regular season last year. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals and lost 4-2, okay? The Philadelphia 76ers didn't. So that's why I'm giving them the advantage. I think Giannis is the best player out of Ben Simmons, Embiid, and Giannis. I'm taking Giannis over that. I think he's going to come back with a jump shot, and I think he's going to drop 30 and 12 this year. I think he's going to tear up the league this year, and he's going to win back-to-back -back MVPs. I think the Bucks can probably go to the finals. I see them at minimum making the Eastern Conference Finals again. And we all know how special this team is. Yes, they lost Malcolm Brogdon. And yes, they got Wesley Matthews. And they re-signed Brooke Lopez. They lost Meritage. This team again in the NBA. I know that they're in the Eastern Conference, so the competition's much easier. But when you got the Greek freak driving down the lane, and then he can now pull up if he does, and you still got... Other players around him, Budenholzer is an underrated coach in this league. Man, the Milwaukee Bucks are going to be a fantastic team this year. And they're going to be probably the best team in the East again this year. So that's exactly why I'm going to put Giannis and Chris Middleton as the number three duo. 
The LA Clippers hit an absolute home run this year when they acquired Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. That's why I got them as my number two duo on the NBA. We all know the MVP type players that they are, the defensive side of the ball, how absolutely dominant they are on the perimeter. We all saw what Paul George did last year with Russell Westbrook being number three in MVP voting, and then Kawhi Leonard winning finals MVP and leading the Toronto Raptors to an NBA championship. There's not much that needs to be said about this duo at all. We all know that they're going to be a top three team in the West this year if they're healthy. Doc Rivers is a fantastic coach. Jerry West did an absolutely fantastic job being able to acquire Paul so that he's able to get Kawhi Leonard to sign with the Clippers over the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, the Clippers versus Lakers is going to be a show to watch this whole entire season, especially come playoff time, because they're fighting for the city and fighting for recognition on hierarchy as well. And we all know that there's four MVP caliber players in Los Angeles right now, which makes it absolutely fun and insane to see. There's not much that needs to be said otherwise about these two. All right, coming in at number one is an obvious no-brainer. I got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. LeBron James coming off his first season with a major injury, missing 17 straight games this year. And Anthony Davis is another baller teaming up with LeBron. The Lakers were able to acquire him in that huge deal with the New Orleans Pelicans. Anthony Davis is another MVP caliber player. And we all know the damage that they're going to do. I don't, not just those two guys, but the actual team as a whole. I think Frank Vogel and Jason Kidd need to get their act together and kind of just figure out how this whole team is going to work out. So I got the Lakers as a 4 or 5 seed, but... We still know how dominant LeBron James and Anthony Davis are going to be when healthy. I think on playoff time, they're probably a second round team. Now that they lost out on DeMarcus Cousins, I don't see them making the Western Conference Finals. It's not out of the equation, but realistically, I see them beating one team in the playoffs and then just taking another team to the second round and losing out there. But I'm never going to count out LeBron James, but now that we have seen that they are getting up there in age and he is injury prone we'll see what happens though but otherwise this pick is a no-brainer and they're going to be a fantastic duo to come this year all right thank you guys so much for watching the video let me know what you guys think what did you guys think of my list and as i said this list is not based on just talent it's based on teams that i think can actually win so i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below and if you guys got any other video topics, please let me know down below. I'll make sure to check them out. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out the social media that'll all be linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much, and I'm out.